This necromancer is no good. This morning I had a zombie ear in my coffee. Can we do something about him? The flickering vortex of magical energy is spinning down into the necromancer in the center of the chamber. He is surrounded by a giant circle of bones, and you can just make out the form of the sacrifice at his feet. He must be stopped before it is too late. When the party enters the room, the necromancer is already in the midst of casting the ritual. He is in a ritual circle that is surrounded by a circle of bones. The room is only lit by the glowing sigil in the center of the room and the glowing motes of energy in the vortex circling into the necromancer. But it is enough light to see the sacrifice at his feet. Once the battle begins, if at any point the necromancer does not have any undead thralls with him, he will use his undead thrall ability seen here in the stat block. The skeletons or zombies that he summons will attack the party aggressively in order to keep them away from the necromancer. They will also view anybody that is attacking the necromancer as a priority target. Crossing into the ritual circle by climbing across the pile of bones that rings around the outside of the circle will cause a player to suffer 2d6 piercing damage from the shards of bone that they're climbing over. In any round that the necromancer is not summoning more undead allies, he will use whatever spells would be beneficial to him at that point in the combat. The ritual is self-sustaining, and the necromancer does not need to concentrate on it to keep it going. The party has 10 rounds until the ritual is complete. The only way to stop the ritual from completing is to kill the necromancer. If the party is unable to kill the necromancer within that 10 round limit, the ritual completes, the sacrifice dies, and the necromancer gains untold godly powers, at which point he teleports away in gales of maniacal laughter. Searching the room afterwards will find that the necromancer left the cursed dagger behind. The cursed dagger, however, will cause anyone attuned to it to slowly go insane. The party also finds boots of striding and springing and a scimitar of warning, along with 2,000 gold pieces worth of gems and coins. Check out this playlist for more videos in the Mega Dungeon, and come back tomorrow as we begin our journey into the Mad Druid area of the forest.